is to bring all the aspects of yourself, your personality, your mood, into the space of the kitchen. And these aspects or these moods of ourselves can be joy, over excitement, but also anger, sorrow. We bring them with the intention to be transformed in the kitchen. We cook using the culinary skills that each of us have, but beyond that, we ask the ingredients, how they would like to be transformed, and we allow ourselves to be transformed in that process. So it's a very intentional practice. It is also a very grounding practice and practical because we are using our hands touching something tangible as the ingredients and transforming that into food while at the same time we are transforming something that in many cases is not very tangible like our emotions and feelings. I started cooking by cooking sake uh, out of my passion for cooking since I was a child but around Eight years ago, I faced a serious episode of depression uh, out of grief and burnout. And the kitchen was the only space that hold for me those feelings and those dark moments of my life. It was the only practice that I could do often, frequently, to keep myself in that space while I was able to understand what was happening inside me, what was happening in my life, and why I was facing these episodes of depression. When we are facing these kind of emotions, the strong emotions, we need to find practices and spaces that are able to hold us in a very kind and healthy way and the kitchen became this for me. After I crossed that episode and I understood the roots and I started working on myself to go through that, I became curious to know why the kitchen this, did this work for me, what is behind cooking that beyond being the place to transform the ingredients into my food was becoming a therapy for me. And out of that curiosity, I became a researcher in the intersection uh, of food, nutrition, cooking, and the act of eating, which is also a very important part in discovering who we are. All these aspects of food and analyzing the intersection with our psychology and our spirituality. Um, and to my surprise, I found that cooking as a spiritual practice has been used for millennia, especially here in the East where I'm living now. But also out of my scientific mind, I have been doing a lot of research in what has been done at the moment to show how cooking becomes a full strong support for mental health, um, but not also that, but supporting all the different aspects of our lives, our social life, um, our spiritual life, and how also it helps to develop and, and help us to grow, like uh, in terms of our cognitive skills. So this is, the risk, this is why I landed into this entire world. The first thing that comes to mind is that it's such a humble activity that really empowers us to be accountable for feeding ourselves, which is the basic human need. I cannot think in any other activity that gives us such an empowerment in life. And the second, maybe, reason I like is because it can be a therapy and even um, spiritual practice if you like. 
that you can use every time you enter into the kitchen. Even if it's for serving a glass of water for drink to drink, or to boil an egg, steam rice, or prepare a very complicated meal. It doesn't matter how simple or complex is gonna be your meal, or is gonna be what you are gonna do in the kitchen. It gives you the opportunity to slow down and ask to yourself in those minutes that you spend in the kitchen, what do I want to transform? What do I want to cook? What do I want to mature about myself? I think these are the two most important aspects of culinary mindfulness that um, keep me working in this field.